Online Scotch Whiskey Awards Best Distillery for 2023. Now, I was not sure if I am going to make this video. Um, the, all the usual suspects are on the list. All the nominations, I can really not fault one of these nominations. And um, so going to be a little bit of a short video. But uh, one thing that I did pick up is that, um, and I went to look at the voting system and um, I was looking for, is it supposed to be just something that is from Scotland? Is that something that's supposed to be a best whiskey or best distillery for 2023 all over the world? Um, there's no clear indication. So it was for me a little bit strange that there is no other distilleries mentioned in this uh, selection. We start off with Erna Mergen. Ah, well, I cannot fault it. They are really a, making fantastic whiskies. I did enjoy a couple of the um, whiskies already. So for me, it is, uh, well, I completely agree with it. Um, next one, we also have the Ben Romach uh, distillery from the space side of Scotland. Well, I, again, um, a lovely whiskies, um, fantastic experience with them. So I can definitely not fault that one as well. The next one, we also have the Brochladi. Now, I'm not 100% sure about the Brochladi. Not a lot of experience with them. Um, one of the whiskies is also... Um, in another category, the Bloch Lari, uh, classic Lari, the eight year old. So um, for me, that was also a bit uh, of a meh. <laughs> so I'm not really a big fan of that one, but I think that's um, something that you can get used to over time. Uh, but yeah, that is, um, so really cannot fault that nomination. Of course, then I come to my favorite and I just uh, made a video on it the Glen Scotia Distillery, now definitely one of my favorite. And you can go look at my whiskey reviews over the last two and a half years, and you will see Glen Scotia popping up everywhere. I do like Glen Scotia. I like the non-chill filter, the natural color, ticking all the boxes. So for me, that is on this list is a clear winner for me. And of course, Loch Lomond is uh, on there as well. Now I've all on my shelf everywhere, I think over here, uh, everywhere I have a bottle of Loch Lomond, um, the 12 year old, the peated whiskey, I have them all. I do, I'm a little bit of a fan. So for me, it's going to be a little bit of a, of a, toss up between the Loch Lomond and the Glen Scotia and then the last one on the category is going to be of course the uh, Springbank Distillery. Now uh, I cannot fault uh, Springbank, I cannot fault that the whiskies are be becoming um, unattainable Attainable. You cannot buy it in Belgium. Um, I cannot fault them because the secondary market is going to hell and um, I cannot afford them anymore. I cannot even get a 10 year old now in Belgium and not like I'm really looking for buy one. Um, I was not a big fan of the 10 year old but I could get used to it um, but for me if I would get one I would love to get the 15 year old and of course my wallet says no and I think my wife will also say no to that one so I try to keep out of trouble and keep everybody happy so not going to spend so much money on a bottle of whiskey. That is the short list of the um, best distillery for 2023 but my question is uh, what happened to a little bit outside of scotland what about a little bit something from japan what a little, a little bit um, well what about a little bit of south africa the baines whiskey now i know a lot of people are saying baines who's baines what's baines well do yourself a favor and um Go look and see Bain's Distillery. 
what kind of whiskies can come out of there. Um, so for me, there is so many other distilleries as well. Taiwan um, absolutely makes fantastic whiskey. Japan, of course, I am a big Japanese whiskey fan. So that would have nice to see a little bit of other distilleries in this lineup. But of course, um, uh, I am just one of those um, big mouth on the side. So what do you think? Which is the distillery that you would have liked to see on the list? What is your favorite distillery? And of course, which whiskey um, comes from that distillery that you would recommend for everybody? So, short video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. And I see you next time. Cheers.